Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and in this particular video, we're going to be practicing evaluating functions. So here we have a function f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. I'd like you to evaluate this function for f of 3a plus 1. What is this equal to? So when we evaluate this function with 3a plus 1, what does this equal to? That is the question. So this is not that difficult of a problem. So if you're new to functions, I'll kind of walk through a basic example here in a second, but this is something you absolutely need to be comfortable with if you're taking any sort of algebra course. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then I'm going to fully explain this step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer here. So again, given the function f of x is equal to 5x minus 3, what is f of 3a plus 1? Well, the answer is the following. Okay, so f of 3a plus 1 into this particular function would be equal to 15a plus 2. All right, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that is outstanding. Matter of fact, you definitely get a nice little happy face and a plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you know how to evaluate a function. I'm pretty sure they'll be extremely impressed with that information. And the next time they run into a function they have to evaluate and they get a little bit confused, they'll be calling you up and saying, hey, how do you do that again? You'll be saying, this is exactly how you evaluate a function. Let's go ahead and get into what this means, evaluate, right? It's a pretty fancy term. So here's the problem. We have this function here, f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. We want to evaluate this function for uh, 3a plus 1. So in math language, right, or algebra kind of notation, you would write it this way, find f of 3a plus 1 uh, for this particular function. But what does this even mean? Well, let's take a look at a more basic example. And here, again, we're talking about this subject of functions. Functions is a huge topic in algebra, so um, I'm just kind of scratching the surface here. So if you need help with functions, you definitely, um, I'm going to give you a couple of suggestions here. I have additional videos on my YouTube channel all about functions, relations, domain, range. There's a, Again, it's a huge topic, extremely important topic. But if you want some more formal instruction on this, check out either my uh, Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 course that will definitely help you out. All right, so here is our function f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. But basically what a function is, it's just a rule where we plug in an input value and we get an output value in. So here, the x, whatever this x is right here, it's the same as this x. But this is our input value. Okay, so we plug in numbers into this function, okay, so we'll plug in a number here, which means whatever we plug in here, we're going to replace this x. It's the same variable over here, and then we'll do this math. Now, I'm kind of, again, really, you know, um, kind of skipping over some basic concepts about functions because that's is like, you know, requires, you know, uh, much more detail to get into. But, you know, I think you could probably uh, kind of just understand this basic example here. So let me kind of erase this. Let's suppose we have this function, f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. Let's uh, find out what f of 2 is equal to. Let's evaluate this function for 2. So uh, it would look like this, f of 2. Okay, so this 2 is our input value, right? So this is our input value, meaning that 2 is part of something called the domain. The domain is a set of all allowable input values into a function. So this 2 right here, that's where I plug this in, we're going to replace the same variable with 2. Okay, so you can see instead of 5x minus 3, I'm going to have 5 times 2 because that's what I'm plugging in, minus 3. Now we just do this simple math, so 5 times 2. Again, we have to follow the order of operations. Multiplication, so we have 5 times 2 is 10, so 10 minus 3 is, of course, 7. So f of 2 is equal to 7 in this particular function right here. Okay, so this is a real basic example, but if you understand this concept, 
of evalu evaluating functions with numbers, then you know it's no different uh, when you're working with variable expressions. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the actual problem. So here I have f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. So let's find f of 3a plus 1. Okay, so what's the input? Well, the input is actually 3a plus 1. So whenever we, ever, ever, um, we see an x, right, we're going to replace this x with 3a plus 1. That's basically all we're going to do. But you need to use parentheses when you do this, okay, because if you don't, you could make an error, all right? So here we have 5 times parentheses 3a plus 1. So we're just going to use the distributive property. 5 times 3a is 15a. 5 times 1 is 5. Now we have this minus 3 here, right? So let's go back to our function. Remember, the, the rule here is f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. So we can't forget that right there. So we have 15a plus 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2, and that is it. Okay, so, you know, again, a pretty simple example in evaluating functions, but functions, again, is a huge, huge, very extremely important topic uh, in algebra, and I'm only kind of scratching the surface here. What I'm doing here really is just what we call a function operation problem. So, again, if you're struggling with functions, the concept of domain, range, what is a function, mapping of functions, how to find the domain, uh, you know, uh, again, it, this is a topic that is introduced even at like at the pre-algebra level, but it's continuously taught all through your algebra series, all, a, you know, continue, you know, even into calculus and beyond. Okay, you need to understand what is a function and all the details of it. So, uh, again, don't be overwhelmed by any particular topic in, ma topic in mathematics. Just, you know, find out what you know and don't know and work on your weaknesses, and that way you will improve. Hopefully this little video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.